Welcome everybody into this new tutorial. So if you're willing to get some money here into Etsy by selling some digital downloads, I'm going to show you um, two ways that you can earn money um, using two different applications. The first one is called Canva. Uh, the great feature about Canva is that this thing is already uh, free. There's a premium section which you can try it totally for free. But in this case, we're going to use the free version and it's really really simple so the first thing you want to do instead of starting to design here your digital download it's to have an account here into etsy so you can go into etsy.com go into the sign in section and of course you can create your account here which says register and use an email and fill your information right here so you can start creating your account so after you create your account, it's really important guys that you have to enable all the features of the basic settings into your account in order for starting to uh, posting here into Etsy. So you can go here into your account, you can go into account settings. And once you are in here, you're going to see that there's a few about yourself, connected accounts, a new passcode, your email, all your information right in here, right? But if you go into your account into the cell on Etsy, so what's going to happen after you clicked into let's do this it's going to be asking you about um your brand or what are you willing to do here into etsy so for example let's go with i'm just starting to sell for the first time ever go into next then is there anything you'd like to help with let's say for example what to sell selling online taking photos shop naming and branding so since we are selling some digital downloads we want to go and maybe go into getting this coverage in search because it's going to be helping us a lot because we don't want to mess with the packaging taking photos we don't want to mess with understanding finance uh, marketing to new audiences we want to stick with getting discovered in search and after that we can start our shop right so let's see if this one is available so it says rethinking this name is available so i want to go into save and continue now in here is going to be asking us for our stock of our shopping here so we can create our listing here and we can start to sell our first item here so after that it's going to be asking us how we like to get paid we can set up a billing on the shop security so so before we dig into this let's go into the canva application which is totally for free just tap into canva.com now if you want to go into the create a design you can go into the search bar or you can go into the template section and in here you want to look for some digital downloads that we can use for the templates for example let's say that you want to use uh you want to create a calendar or let's see if there is a digital planner template that we can use inside canva there's a weekly uh, i kind of like this one digital planner so if you're okay with that you can go into customize this template so as you can see if i scroll here my mouse you're gonna see that there are a bunch of items that are not um grouped or merged so what you guys want to do is to select all the files that are in here i'm gonna go into the secondary click and go into the group section so if i want to move something i can move that all of that just with one touch so let's say that this for example is a little bit um big so i want to make this a little bit smaller so i can create like for example a border in here so what i want to do is to select all my items once again and i want to use this three dot and use the lock section so if i want to delete one of those items I cannot do that because it's already locked. So this is going to be really useful if you want to use this as a background. So I want to unlock this just for a second. I want to go into the transparency and I want to load this for, let's say 35% and I want to lock that once again. So we can start creating our own da daily planner. So by using this template, we can go into the search text section. And for example, I want to look for a different genre for example let's try to look for something that fits into a gaming daily planner or someone willing to work with streamings and all that so let's scroll a little bit down and try to look for something that fits into what i'm looking for if you don't find anything that works for you you can just go and select a custom one so you can create your own let's say i want to select here daily planner and after that i can go into the text that are in here and try to look for something that looks more uh, for gaming stuff. Now, if you want to save some time, you can just delete this, ungroup this template, 
move the transparency to 100%. And inside of this template, we can edit with the same information used in this template. So if this one already says daily planner, I can go into the text and try to look for something a little bit more gaming stuff. Maybe this pixelate works for me. So I want to make this a little bit more bigger. And after that, I want to make some color. I want to create some color in here so it can look a little bit more um, better for me. So I want to go into the effects. So there you have it. So far, it's looking great for me, right? So after that, you can go and select date. We, we already know what's the name of our font that we just used in here. As you can see, it's already saved into the recent uh, results. So you can go into select the date. Uh, for example, I want to choose this color of the background and I want to choose a black one uh, or maybe a gray. Just a quick tip in here, if you want to save some time, for example, for example, this uh, element, if you want to choose another color, for example, uh, this is the one that I want to. So if you don't want to do the same thing with this, just delete those and we can just copy paste and put it on the other spaces, which is right in here. And as you can see, it's going to be appearing this uh, pink ruler is going to be helping us to put everything in. Or what you can do is to select uh, one, two, three, the four of them and edit them at the same time. So let's say, for example, I want to use this color. Right, it's going to be helping us and it's going to be saving us a lot of time. So if you're willing to do more than one using this template, well, it's going to be saving you a lot of time. All right, so now it's everything done so far. It kind of looks good for me. I'm just going to choose to edit this text real quick. And after that, we have already our planner, our digital planner. So what you can do is to add a few pages in here. We can create more digital planners. Let's say, for example, that you create like a hundred da daily planners. So after you've done with that, I'm going to delete this options right in here. Let's say I want to add a new page and I want to use a new template for a daily planner. So let's say, for example, that we created this for daily planners, right? So after that, what you can do is to go into the share section and in here, you can go into the download and go into the file type. It's really important guys that you choose a file type, the correct one. For example, if this is a digital planner, if people are willing to uh, work in here, I recommend you to use the PDF standard. So after that, you can select all the pages or you can just um, track them and download it one by one. And after the download has been complete, so now what I want to do in order to sell what I've just done so far is that I can uh, go into the share section. Once again, I'm going to download the only the first page, maybe just the second page as well. And I'm going to use the file tab of a PNG. Why is that? Because what I want to do is to use these images, these new images of my PDF file um, to drag them into my listing of Etsy. So after the download has been completed, I want to go back into my ST listed. I can choose my download image and drag that into the primary photo. Let's take a look here into Canva if mockups are available. So we can select here um, like this iPhone. We can use this watch. I can put it in here. I can select this iPad and kind of move it like this. So now we download our image in here, we can upload it one, once again through different devices. So this is going to be helping a lot if you are willing to sell some digital planners. So I strongly recommend you guys to use mockups. So it's going to be looking much more attractive. Then I can go into my preview so I can see here is my pepper templates of what we just created here. Another way that you can create art totally for free is with pixelart.com. This is a very easy tool to create uh, pixel art. As you can see, there are a bunch of stuff that you can create in here. If you are good creating pixels uh, with a bunch of tools that we can use totally for free, you just create one of those and you can sell that into Etsy. It's really, really simple, guys. So after you create your own images, after you create your digital stuff, you now know how to sell that into Etsy. You now uh, know how to create your own account and start selling into Etsy. And you don't have to limit to Etsy. You can sell your stuff into eBay or Amazon, even into the Facebook marketplace. 
you are literally putting your own limits guys so hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching this video hopefully we can see you on the next time and well thanks for watching